Right, I've had a, um, some posts gone on my Facebook page about deactivating 5G on your router. Um, right, think of it this way. 5G is being rolled out. In fact, it's already active in some places. Now, on the older routers, there is a different frequency than the full 5G. I think the capacity is being built in the latest routers that 5G can go live. However, some people are saying to me, yeah, but it's the old 5G. It's not the 2G, 3G, 4G, which are all bad for you. 5G is a different frequency that goes up to, I think it's 18,000 uh, hertz, or 1.8 gigahertz, 1800 gigahertz. So um, where is it? I think it's in one of these here. Uh, there, the latest on 5G. Okay, and it goes through goes back to the history of it so we're going back to May 5G related it's uh, the speed that the mobile phones are using um, 5G brought out readers up to the date current state of 5G technology a few weeks later with the rapid research progress and industry interest in the topic and update is due News of preliminary 5G wireless channel models reports a 5G live network test results. And it gives down here some of the, the frequencies for the models for 2.3 hertz, 2.6, 5.25, 26.4 and 58.68 gigahertz. So these are the frequencies that 5G is going to work on. They're going to purify it and take it right up to 90 billion hertz. But it's all flexible. And I believe it's flexible by their control inside the router box, which I'm going to show you. Um, the router box contains a microphone. All router boxes made in China contain a microphone. In fact, there's a video where one was stripped down live in front of TV cameras that recorded. And the engineer said, that is a microphone. On another one, there's even a camera in the back. So it can actually watch if it's pointing in a certain direction. That's incredible. That means they have control over the router. And if they can switch microphones on and off and take recordings, they can change the frequencies too. And if 5G frequency is built in, it'll be switched on. And we know that they don't give a shit about the side effects. Even if you're not using 5G, they'll try and transmit that frequency on you. So even the old 5G, which is not the billions of cycles per second, but it's hundreds of thousands of cycles per second, is still worse than the 2, 3 and 4G, right? So these people who are contacting me and saying, yeah, but it's not the real 5G, you watch what happens, because it's going to bite you up the arse. So, here we go. Um, this video, this is what, this is three years ago, it's had 1.9 million hits, because people were interested in it. I'm looking for the date on this. Um, Oh, hang on. Published on July 2017, last year. October, November. So, 16 months ago. A lot has happened since then. It's gone live. Yeah? Um, down um, south of London, in Brighton, it's now live. Okay? 5G's live. There. So, anything in the last 24 months, I believe, the 5G transmitter is in there. And they can control it. But this is what's inside. It's got its own computer inside your router. Mainboard, I.O., and even operating system. All of which help it manage data traffic, deciding what needs to be sent where. And these components of a router can get overloaded. Similarly to how having 40 browser tabs, multiple HD video streams, and a game running at the same time might bring your laptop to its knees, pushing tons of data through your router to lots of different devices can also slow it down sometimes. So it's got its own built-in chips and its own computer system. And think about this. What's the first item that's connected to the internet that's coming into your house? The very first one. It's not your computer. It's the router, which is the first computer in the system that they can directly control. Okay, think about that one. Right, let's go into how you control. This is, for example, the Sky Broadband number, okay? 
copy that you then go onto anything on the internet like the HTTP um, and paste that number in okay and Skyhub comes up for me look you paste that in and it takes you to the sky I'm now inside my router okay broadband connected enabled that's the number SSID I switch this um, earlier I'm tr I don't know how you undo it but it says yes I'm on 2.4 Hertz 5 gigahertz no I'm not because I disabled it so I think you go up to some of the other settings which I'm gonna do now um, let's have a look maintenance is it in that sign in that was in before um, I don't know it's a three word so that's 2G wireless settings okay um, and it says it's 2G so um, it would come up with an option on 5 and 2G if you haven't undone it now it says here synchronize 2.4 and 5 gigahertz do not tick that box because it it can flip between 5 and 2 even if you shut your 5G down it's giving authority for 2.4 to open up your 5G so you can tick enable wireless port enable WPS that shows you what the number is and allow your broadcast name so you can log in from your phone or visitors can you give them the um, the passcode which is a login number password and then they look up and that comes up on their list and they can log in so that this is the section that you do it in um, so play around with it Ethernet setup it's not there energy efficient ethernet for some reason mine's disabled I'm going into security now um, it's not that one maintenance that's loading up I don't think it's let's have a look. system details this is just like in your computer what you've got that's the IP address that will be on your router box that's the number on the router box it's your IP address gateway and so that's for Macintosh and current channel is 1.24 and I'm not on 5 gigahertz okay and um, there's no facility on the boxes there let me have a look at advanced respond ping that's not it um, it's not on support and license information so I I am set because I unticked the box for 5G that's what came up so mine's unticked okay when you go in if yours is set to 5G there'll be an option in there in your wireless to go right untick the 5G okay so you've got the option there and that's how you do it but um, there's a video here okay I don't give a shit whether Alex Jones says it or the bloody Queen says it. If it's true, I'll take it on board. Um, Alex Jones has got lots of information out, but the suspect now that he's working for the other side. That, I think, is true. However, on this video, I shall put the link in here. I'll copy the video URL. And he gives all the information in the background. This is from years ago. Um, this is from 2012. Ow. He's got the documentation and the Chinese were building microphones inside the routers um, and in some cases cameras. It's all there. What do you think's happened years later? There'll be all these other frequencies added that they can control and alter. So you go into your software, keep checking it and keep unchecking it to make sure it doesn't transmit at 5G. Um, um, that's, that's me done, mate. mateys. That's um, well worth doing. And switch your router off at night time. Do not leave it turned on unless you absolutely have to. By the way, there is a system you can buy that you plug into a plug socket and it uses the earth wire around the house to send a signal to another plug in. So, in other words, you plug this device into you from your router into the plug socket, and then you take the other device and plug it in the living room, say from the bedroom your routers in the bedroom plug this other device into your plug socket in the um, living room and there is no transmitted air signal it all goes through the house wiring 
interesting eh um, I'll try and post links for that if I can um, yeah so get on with it do it <laughs>